Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I am back in my BMW M3. The Porsche GT3 was the perfect car for me to take to Cars and Coffee. Even though it had a velvet bonnet and roof, which isn't to everyone's taste and definitely not to mine, the exhaust makes up for it. I love that car and it would be a dream to own that and replace the Lamborghini Huracan with that exact Porsche GT3 and then I'll just wrap it however I want. Maybe I'd wrap it like that. But anyway, we get on to a property update and a Lamborghini update, a video that I've tried to make for the last two weeks and is one of the reasons why my channel was quite inactive over the last couple of weeks because I was just reassessing the way that I wanted to make the content and everything that I was producing wasn't actually that fun or entertaining. However, I did do a property viewing which was probably our dream apartment, a little bit out of budget, but it was a show home. And more will be revealed in this video the further we get through because I did film it. You will get to see that apartment. You will get to see my thought processes at the time. But right now, we are in quite an exciting period because my Lamborghini is this close from actually being sold. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I don't want to say that it is sold until the money lands in the bank account. But today's video, I'm gonna go for a drive in the BMW M3. My voice is ever so slightly going. I'm gonna shove a GoPro up, chat to you guys, give you guys an update, but if you watched my last video, I made a bet with Zach that I wouldn't be able to keep a Samsung for four months because I am iPhone mad. I'm a massive, massive Apple fanboy. But in that car is my new Samsung. This is what I've just taken delivery of and I have no idea whether I'm mad or whether this is the right thing to do. It literally hasn't even had the seal broken. So I need to get a key and break the seal. I can imagine there are quite a lot of Apple fanboys, like me, if I watch this video, I'd probably be going mental at the screen as well. Oh, I'm opening it up, but I said upside down. And there it is. I can't believe that I'm an owner of a Samsung device. Oh, it's a really smart phone. It's like a mirror finish on the back, which is really cool. And then on the front, there's literally not one button. It is exactly the same sort of interface as the iPhone X. So this is gonna be my new phone and I'm gonna be putting it to the test against my iPhone in Mallorca. Right, I actually had to move the car because I was just gonna get completely drenched in all of the puddles over there. But we're now gonna jump in the car and I'm gonna show you what happened when we viewed potentially the dream apartment. Okay, we are inside, we are on the first floor. That is the entrance down there. This block of apartments comes with a lift, which is very fancy, but it is done up really, really nice. And in here is the show home, where at the moment my girlfriend is in with the estate agent, just having a look around. But it is beautiful, I get it. There's so much. Well, by the looks of it, so much thought that's gone into the design and interior of this place. It's a really nice location, it's got gates, not entirely sure about the, how private the parking is, whether people will be able to see the cars from the road. I don't entirely know too much. Um, but as first impressions go, it's really nice. We now find ourselves in the show home apartment for this development. And like all developments I've learned today, that they basically do up one of the apartments as a show home. So people can come and view and see what it's like when an interior designer makes an apartment look beautiful and essentially trying to get you to buy it. So this is a three bed, which is way out of our budget, but they do have apartments in this development which are within budget. So the idea of coming in to see this one is you get to see it fully kitted out and use of space and things like that. So this is the front door and the hallway. It's just so much space. It's really quite wide. I can't really get the camera to pick up just how wide it is, but I love how show homes make places look so beautiful. If I came to look at this and the show home wasn't set up, then I'd just be looking at a bunch of empty rooms. But bedroom number one, quite a nice size. Very light because we've got quite big windows. What does this door? I didn't even open this door. Oh, it's an ensuite. 
So we've already done a viewing with the estate agent, but now I'm allowed to film and show you guys just what we're doing. Oh, I, I mean, it's a bit of a shock. Wouldn't like to shout with one of those. Bedroom number two. Again, really nice size. And another ensuite <laughs> with another tree in it. But a really, really nice space. I mean, someone looks like they've moved in. There's a suit here, obviously for the professional couple. I don't own a suit, so this apartment obviously is way out of my budget. Check out the living space in here. As it is a show home, there isn't a television, so I couldn't really actually use this as a living space until there is a television in here, but just check it out. Like, it is so nice. Everything is nicely done. We've got a dining room table there. We've got a sofa. We've got places to just hang out. Massive coffee table. And I assume that is where the television would go above this sort of block down there. Great living space. I love this already. Now, whilst I fully understand that one, I'm not an expert specialist when it comes to property, so what I might have said there is completely the wrong information. This is a show home, so this is not like a finished apartment. This is purely for people like me that are looking to buy, um, and they just sort of kid it out, make it look really nice. But as a space, <laughs> you can't fault it. On the first floor, I kind of am leaning against or away ground floor because I don't like the idea of people walking past windows and sort of being able to look in whilst you're just chilling and watching TV. That kind of freaks me out a little bit. Whenever I stay in hotels, the first thing that I do is I pull the curtain shut. And regardless on whatever floor that I'm at, that is just sort of something that I do because I just get a little bit freaked out by people looking in the windows. So to be on the first floor is quite a nice luxury, I think. And whilst me and my girlfriend really like the way this is laid out, none of it can come with it. So even if we were like, yeah, we want to buy this one, all of it we get cleared out which is a little bit depressing but really really nice space i feel like this could be a home you walk in somewhere and you get like a feeling you get a feeling that actually this is somewhere that you could live and just walking from bedroom to bedroom it is done really really nice it's quite a lot of gray quite a lot of shades of gray which i would like to change around and flick a little bit of color in maybe a little bit of orange maybe a few balboni stripes here and there um but brand new apartment secure safe and essentially i think we are getting closer and getting a little bit hotter as to the perfect apartment this is just a little bit out of budget so i will be retracting back to right move and going and having a look and trying to get some more viewings booked in so obviously we really liked that apartment and we couldn't work out whether it was because it was the show home and it looked like we could move in right there and then but since then and obviously since honing in our priorities and our tick boxes and everything that we wanted ticked we found a place that we really like we really like one particular place a place that we haven't filmed we weren't allowed to film the viewing so the next step apparently is that we make an offer based on the guide price that is up on right move so that's what we're doing which i feel very grown up about and I've been told that even though this is quite stressful, I've obviously made it even more stressful trying to film it and not being able to, which has annoyed me ever so much and obviously ruined quite a lot of the upload schedule on my YouTube channel. Um, but the stress is now to come with all of the, 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 with all of the, the legalities, contracts, all of that boring stuff, which I'm not gonna bore you about. So the next stage is we're gonna be making an offer, not on that development and definitely not on that apartment because I'm not a millionaire, but we have found a place that we really like, which is really exciting. So everything can start moving a little bit quicker if the Lamborghini sells. So we're very close to selling the Lamborghini, which would just mean everything starts coming back into my control. Because let's face it, as exciting as it is, I'm buying my own property with my girlfriend, I want to know what my Lamborghini Huracan replacement is. I, I want to know what the budget is. So I've been speaking to Prince Motor Group who lent me the Lamborghini Aventador for Matt's wedding, which was a video last month. And they have got a vast selection of stock. And it is all in stock, it's stuff they own. 
And I've basically said to them, can I try different cars? Can I test drive them for the day? Can I do very normal things in the cars that you've got in stock? And they're very open to the idea. So I've, again, I've got my fingers crossed that I'll be able to test the likes of an Audi RS6 all the way up to a Ferrari 488 and all of the different budgets in between. So I can work out what budget I'm gonna be looking at, but then also the exciting thing is what cars are within those budgets and that's when things get really exciting so a very quick video or i hope a very quick video but one that i feel like is informative and at the same time exciting so whilst i continue driving this car and burning fuel for the sake of it i would like to say thank you very much for tuning in thank you for watching hopefully we can start moving forward with this i've got a few trips coming up which might hinder it ever so slightly but at the same time will provide better content so we are in a good space i feel like i'm in a good place at the moment and i'm just excited for the future so thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will be seeing you very very soon for some hypercar action i'm going to be driving a hypercar and cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi các bạn hãy bấm like comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha 